Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Alinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so, so grateful. And for those who are still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video, comment in the comment section down below, and I'll be so grateful. Today, I'm super excited because I want us to discuss about this deadly chicken disease called the avian influenza. Most people know it as bad flu but uh this chicken disease is by the way so deadly in a way that uh, once it affects your farm it ends up wiping all the birds just within days if you don't handle it properly and it can also affect the human beings like from the birds to the human beings and i've realized that uh nowadays most of the farms are being affected by this bird flu and then we are going to look at the types of this avian influenza we are going to look at the transmission from one bird to another or from the bird to the human beings and then we are also going to look at the herbal remedies that you can use to at least protect your birds from getting this avian influenza and to treat them once they get this disease. But please, let us use this herbal remedies as early as possible to protect our birds, to protect our birds from getting these chicken diseases. Because some of them are so deadly that once it affects your birds and you're a beginner, you can end up losing hope. Now, avian influenza is a highly contagious viral disease that affects poultry and other bird species. So it doesn't only affect the chicken, but it affects all types of birds you see around. Now, if we look, uh, if we come to the types of the avian influenza, we have two different types. We have the low pathogenic avian influenza, and this one causes uh, mild respiratory sim symptoms among us, our birds like coughing, like sneezing, okay? And then the birds may also have decreased egg production for the birds that are already laying actively. And then it often goes unnoticed in our poultry flocks. And then we have the second type. This is actually the most deadly. It is called highly pathogenic avian influenza, okay? This one causes severe disease with very high mortality. Uh, the symptoms include a swelling of the head, and then uh, it also causes purple discoloration of the wattles and the combs. It will make these birds have a respiratory distress. The birds will have diarrhea, and the, you realize sudden death in your farm. In fact, this one can wipe out the entire flocks within days. So this one is so, so, deadly now how does it transmit from one bird to another it can spread through direct contact with the infected birds either through their droppings or through the contaminated feeds or through the water equipment and through the clothing so you as the farmer if you enter the chicken house which are affected by this avian influenza or the bird flu make sure you you remove all those attires you have used you can either burn them or wash them and disinfect them very well before entering another chicken house or another poultry house. And then it can also transmit uh, through the wild birds, especially the waterfowl, because they can have the virus without showing any symptoms in them, and yet they can spread it to the domestic poultry. So you must be very, very careful. Now, how do you control your birds and prevent this avian influenza from attacking your birds? First of all, it's biosecurity. Make sure you limit movements in and out of your chicken house or the farm in general. And then make sure that you disinfect the equipment and control the wild birds from accessing your chicken houses. Another way that you can uh, prevent this is through vaccination. For those who are not going to use these herbal remedies, you will have to vaccinate your birds. And then early detection is also very, very important because once you, you detect it early, it will be able for you to treat it early. And make sure you isolate the birds immediately when you realize some of these symptoms happening in your farms or among the birds. And then sometimes you'll have to call out the infected flock. Now, another way that you can also prevent it is by being consistent in using these herbal remedies. Because these herbal remedies, they have, uh, they boost the immunity, they make our birds disease resistant. 
so you realize that some of these chicken diseases will end up not affecting your flock okay now the how does it affect the human beings okay there are some strains that it can also infect the human beings through the direct contact with the sick birds so if um your birds get this avian influenza you as a beginner or as a farmer sometimes you might not know which strain has affected the birds so you must know how to handle these birds very well you must protect yourself don't just handle the birds carelessly without any protection or any protective gears because those strains can end up affecting you and then proper handling and cooking of the poultry products also helps in eliminating the risk of the infection so make sure that if you're cooking your chicken meat please cook it well don't rush you will end up getting infected with this bad flu now let's just look at the herbal remedies that you can give these birds once they are affected or before they are affected with this bad flu the first one you're going to mix garlic ginger and turmeric in warm water please in warm water and you give it to the affected birds you will actually give it forcefully okay because birds once they are very sick they'll end up not feeding they'll end up not drinking so you as a farmer make sure you look for ways of giving these birds this concoction you will mix this you will first blend it mix it with warm water and give to the affected birds and then you will also mix the lemon juice and honey it will help your birds with stress and recovery for the infected birds give them forcefully if they cannot drink it then for the rest of the birds that are still okay you will give them direct in their drinking water and then you will uh, blend the aloe vera gel and moringa and mix in their drinking water and all these treatments for five consecutive days another herbal remedy that you can give to these birds you can dry the eucalyptus leaves and mix in the in the feeds or the neem leaves and mix in the feeds or you can boil these two and give them in drinking water that will help your birds a lot from the recovery process but please let us really observe biosecurity because it is through uh being careless with the biosecurity that our birds normally get these chicken diseases and let us limit the movements of in and out into our chicken houses please someone who is going to enter your chicken house make sure that they disinfect themselves very very well that is the only way we are going to save ourselves from this chicken diseases now we are going to go inside the chicken farm and collect the eggs see you right back so guys our new formula is still working very well but i'm going to report back to you after at least one month when we are sure that uh, it has not affected our production but otherwise these birds are enjoying the new formula they are feeding well there is no problem you come inside the chicken house and they have managed to finish all the feeds even you can see we get the feed some time back but you can see they are still feeding very very well and it is almost even done okay so and remember the rain is back so when the rain is back or whenever there is any change in the weather it also affects the production so we shall try to boost their production and we are going to to deworm our birds very soon and i'm still seeing what we can use whether we use the 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 papaya seeds or we use the charcoal and other things okay now let's go and collect our eggs
Just sit down, guys. I'm already getting tired with collecting the money. So big, eh? Guys, we are still giving the birds today uh, the, the cocoyam leaves and the matoke peelings. We have still so many left, so I'm going to prepare them and also give these birds this afternoon. Eh? Like yesterday.
I'm already sweating. So guys, I'm done collecting our eggs and I want us to count our eggs together because it has been long we've not confirmed the trace of eggs. But remember, we have 325 birds and each tray of eggs or crate of eggs has 30 eggs. So let us count the eggs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and some eggs. And this is just 2 p.m. So by the time we reach six in the evening, we will have added more eggs here and remember we've changed the feed formula of which it is doing well but honestly i still don't want to come out and share with you because i want to still confirm for at least one month and then our birds have now laid for some time but their performance is still doing is still very well but all because of these herbal remedies and doing the right thing so please let us do the right thing if we want to be successful in this poultry farming so for today that is all i have for you thank you so much for watching thank you so much for always coming back thank you so much for loving me but if you're still new please consider subscribing to the youtube channel click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below and i will be so grateful see you next time i love you all bye bye oh my god now we are going to just pack our take the eggs inside and pack let me carry a few Woo!